Hello everyone, it's nice to see you again this week for my uh, video update. Thanks for taking some time to watch this video. Last week, as you may be aware, we began a homily series on the Mass, which is coinciding with our uh, Gospels that come from John chapter 6, which is the Bread of Life discourse, where Jesus will um, give us his teaching on his body and blood in the Eucharist. And, and uh, while as we go through that, we're going to be taking a look at the various parts of the Mass. Uh, and what the Mass is, and, and why it's important, and and why we do some of the things that we do at the Mass. So last week we talk, talked about preparation for Mass, uh, the introductory rites of the Mass, um, and then this week we're going to get into the first um, main part of the Mass, which is the Liturgy of the Word. So um, the reading of the Scriptures, the homily, the creed, uh, the, and then the universal prayers. So uh, we're going to take a look at that first large part of the Mass uh, and what the Liturgy of the Word is, what it's meant to do, and uh, some of the kind of uh, things you may have noticed during the Liturgy of the Word and, and wondered why we do those things. So um, I hope you'll be uh, able to join us at church at, for this second part of our of our homily series of the most beautiful thing this side of heaven on the Mass. In today's bulletin, I hope you take some time to uh, read it either online uh, through the link in my email or uh, by picking one up in church. You're going to see that a lot of things are getting started again um, this fall uh, in the month of September. So the first thing I'd like to uh, draw our attention to is Alpha. Uh, we've had uh, many parishioners who have gone through Alpha and we really want Alpha to be a place where um, we're inviting people who have who have questions about life, questions about faith. Um, we probably all have those things after the last um, 16 or 17 months, however long it's been. And Alpha is an opportunity to gather together to uh, share a meal, watch a video, and then speak about our own faith journey or questions that we have or or um, many different things. So. Uh, that will be beginning September 13th, and uh, you'll find a flyer in today's bulletin about that. Uh, if you have been through Alpha before, we're looking for helpers for our Alpha team. And uh, you'll see uh, an insert in today's bulletin uh, with some of those opportunities. Uh, if you have been a part of Alpha before, um, and have, if you haven't, maybe you'll consider uh, participating in it this year and maybe inviting someone to join you. Uh, also, we will beginning the, be beginning the rite of Christian initiation of adults very soon. For those who are interested in becoming Catholic, may be baptized in a different uh, denomination um, and would like to become a member of the Catholic Church, or perhaps someone who was baptized Catholic or who has never received the other sacraments, or maybe someone who doesn't have any faith at all, uh, never been baptized. So um, that is for you. It's the right of Christian initiation of adults. And um, just because you start in the RCIA doesn't necessarily mean that you will definitely become a Catholic. Uh, it might be an opportunity for you to kind of see what it's all about and then maybe make that decision a little later. So uh, if you have some interest or some questions, uh, you could reach out to Barbara in our office, our Director of Evangelization, and she'll be happy to speak with you about RCIA. Also, you'll see that there are a number of Bible studies that are beginning very soon in the fall. Um, so you might consider joining one of those studies. And finally, uh, we are in need of catechists for our young people, for our religious education program, our family faith formation program, on Sunday mornings and Wednesday afternoons, twice a month, uh, beginning in the month of September. So uh, if you would like the opportunity to share your faith with uh with our youngest disciples, this is this is your chance. And uh, of course, we provide you with all sorts of information and support um, for for you to be a catechist. So if you have some interest in that, you could also contact Barbara in our office, and she will be very happy to speak with you. So things are really starting to get back up off the ground again. I hope you'll um, 
take a look around and see what you can become a part of in the parish this fall. Um, and if you've not been returning to church, I'd really, uh, I, I hope to see you back in church again. Uh, we, we will be all better off for your presence with us at Mass. So have a wonderful day, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you in church this weekend. God bless you.